Hey you guys, it's Sifflick Piggy back with another video and this one is going to be about how to clip a ferret's nails. So I clip my ferret's nails about once a week. It's important to clip your ferret's nails because if they get too long then they can get caught in the bedding in their cage. So for me I have fleece and so their nails if they're too long could get caught in the fleece and get stuck and they could rip a toenail and that would not be fun for them at all and then also just when they're out for playtime they could get their nails caught in a carpet especially if you have a carpet that's looped I personally don't but still and it's also important to keep them clipped because when they play with each other they're very rough players and a lot like dogs kind of when they play or cats um, so it's very important to keep their nails trimmed for that and also when they scratch their eyes or like itch their eyes or their nose. So there's a long list of reasons why you should or why it's important to clip your ferret's nails. But yeah, so the bottom line is just to make sure you do it consistently and make sure they don't get too long. Here's a clip of my ferret's nails. Um, I let them grow out for a little longer than they usually do, about a week or so, a little over a week. Um, and this is pretty much what it looks like when they're way too long. It's also important to clip your ferret's nails because when you handle them um, and they have really, really long nails, it's just like a puppy. Um, they can scratch you and it can hurt. <laughs> so I clip mine, as I said, about once a week. And I'm going to show you in this video the method that I do to clip my ferret's nails. This one works really well for me and I've never really tried any other way. But yeah, so for me, clipping ferret's nails is so much easier than clipping guinea pig nails or anyone else. So I personally, I just use a um, human nail clipper, fingernail clipper um, for my ferrets and it works awesome. I don't think I'd be able to use the nail clippers that are made for small animals that I use for the guinea pigs usually. Um, I don't think I'd be able to use those for the ferrets because they're just so bulky. Um, but the human nail clippers work great for me. And then another, this is probably the second most important part to clipping your ferrets nails, the way I do it is a treat for them because what I do basically is I take wild Alaskan salmon oil and um, I put it on their stomachs they're just like lick their stomachs while they're licking off the treat off their bellies and so while they're doing that you can pretty much do just about anything to them um, this is pretty dependent on your ferrets maybe your ferret won't like it at all this method might not work for all ferrets, but it works really great for me and my ferrets. So I use Wild Alaskan Salmon Oil for Aurora. However, um, another alternative is a really popular option, which is Ferritone or Ferret Bite. I think it's the same thing. I'm not completely sure. But um, Kobe personally does not like wild Alaskan salmon oil that much. I'm still trying to get him to switch onto it. I really don't like using Ferritone because I've heard that it can it has um, ingredients that may link to cancer in the future of their lives, which is why I'm trying to switch Kobe onto wild or er, well, yeah wild Alaskan salmon oil um, because I think that's the best and healthiest option for them. So. I'm just going to walk you through the process I do with the ferrets when I clip their nails. Something very important to the whole process is to have good lighting. If you don't have good lighting, you won't really be able to see their nails. People accidentally cut the quick, which is the red little blood vessel you can see in their nails if you have good lighting. If you don't have good lighting, it might be a little more difficult. So I would recommend having an extra light source or just really, really bright lights. Or not really, really bright lights, but lights where you can see they're quick. So good lighting is very important. And then if you want to take that extra step, it might be a good idea to get a flashlight and you can flash the light through their nails. I would not recommend taking their nail and flashing the light underneath the nail because that could flash 
the flashlight in their eyes and that could be harmful. So I recommend pointing it down on their nails so it doesn't hurt their eyes, you know, or just block their head. After you get the whole lighting situated, what I do is I sit down and you can do this on a chair, you can do it on the floor. I do it on the floor and as you can see I'm using a blanket. I usually don't use a blanket, I just rest her between my legs. But sometimes that doesn't work because she'll just slip through my legs. So um, sometimes a blanket is helpful. You can do it either with their head facing you or their head facing away from you. Um, I do it either way as you can see in these following clips. Um, for me I can do it either way. Sometimes if you have their face facing away from you or towards you, it can be easier to access different nails. <laughs> Kobe is going crazy. Yeah, and so the next step would be to lay them on their backs. So I try to really quickly put the oil on their stomachs and then instantly they're all over their stomachs. So while they're licking their stomachs, you can just get right into clipping. So get your nail clippers. Ferrets typically have five nails on each paw. So it usually will come out to a 20 um, clips, pretty much. And I would recommend doing it consistently, like once a week, means that you won't have to take off these huge nails. And I just think that's the best way. So you can just take off little tips and you are less likely to be cutting their foot. So it's okay to take your time, make sure that they're still, because if they're you're about to clip and they make a sudden movement, you could accidentally cut their quick and that will hurt. So if you do cut their quick, then you can take some flour and put it on their bleeding nail and that should stop the bleeding. Try not to cut their quick, obviously it'll hurt. If you've ever cut or bit your nail too low, it kind of feels like that, I'm assuming. And your nail bleeds, it's pretty much the same with ferrets. Clipping ferrets nails is pretty simple if they're still and they don't mind it. My ferrets are so good with it, they really don't mind it because they get treats of course. Um, but as you can see, they're licking their stomachs, so when they lick their stomachs, um, they're gonna be getting some fur into their mouths. So when that happens, I would recommend after giving them a ferret laxative, because ferrets cannot process fur balls or hair balls, so you want to give them a laxative. So there are a lot of ferret laxatives specifically for ferrets out at pet stores and stuff. I personally don't really recommend those. They have um, petroleum jelly which can be hard on their gut. So I personally give them a little bit of plain canned pumpkin. I know ferrets are all like carniv carnivores and you're only really supposed to give them meat. But out of the options for ferret laxatives, plain canned pumpkin is one of the na most natural ones or is the most natural one that I personally know of, so that's really what I would just recommend. But yeah, so that is pretty much it to clipping a ferret's nails. Um, it's a really simple process, honestly, I think. And yeah, so here are just going to be some more clips of me clipping the ferret's nails. Um, but yeah, so it's really pretty simple. Male ferrets are usually larger than female ferrets, and so are their nails. So for me personally, it's much easier to clip Kobe's nails because they're thicker, as opposed to Aurora's who are thinner. So ferrets' nails, they're, it's kind of hard to describe, but the sides are very kind of flat, and then the top is rounded and the bottom's rounded up to the top, if that makes any sense. And I would recommend clipping them um, if you can, because, well, I don't really try to do this, this just always happens when I'm clipping their nails, so maybe it's just kind of natural for this to happen, but I would take the nail clippers and the side of the ferret's nails, which is flat, and cut them parallel to the ground. That's what works best for me, but however you can clip their nails without hurting them is pretty much a win. So yeah, that is pretty much the process that I go through while clipping the ferret's nails. Um, a tip is to let them have a massive playtime before you clip them so they won't be all hyped up while you're clipping them and 
they'll be more relaxed and ready to have a little treat. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Feel free to follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram is instagram.com forward slash snowflake piggy. And yeah, so that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you all in our next video. Thank you guys. Bye.